we now see Prime Minister Narendra Modi being welcomed by a loud chair and President Donald Trump shaking hands, a warm hug symbolizing the great Indo-American friendship. The aim is to strengthen and deepen the ties further as we see the first Bharat Mata Ki Bharat Mata Ki Bharat Mata Ki Namaste Trump 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 Main kahunga इंडिया यूएस फ्रेंडशिप यूएस फ्रेंडशिप आप बोलेंगे लॉन्ग लिव लॉन्ग लिव लॉन्ग लिव लॉन्ग लिव इंडिया यूएसए फ्रेंडशिप यूएसए फ्रेंडशिप इंडिया यूएस फ्रेंडशिप इंडिया यूएस फ्रेंडशिप नमस्ते आज मोटेरा स्टेडियम में एक नया इतिहास बन रहा है आज हम इतिहास को दोहराते हुए भी देख रहे हैं पांच महीने पहले मैंने अपनी अमेरिका यात्रा की शुरुआत ह्यूस्टन में हुए हाउडी मोदी कार्यक्रम से की थी और आज मेरे दोस्त प्रेसिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप अपनी ऐतिहासिक भारत यात्रा का आरंभ अहमदाबाद में नमस्ते ट्रंप से कर रहे हैं आप कल्पना कर सकते हैं वो अमेरिका से सीधे यहां पहुंचे हैं इतनी लंबी जर्नी के बाद भारत में उतरते ही प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप और उनका परिवार सीधे साबरमती आश्रम गया और फिर इस कार्यक्रम में आया है दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी डेमोक्रेसी में आपका हृदय से बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्ते नमस्ते एंड हेलो टू इंडिया दिस इज सच ए ग्रेट ऑनर लेट मी बिगिन बाय एक्सप्रेसिंग माय प्रोफाउंड ग्रेटिट्यूड टू एन एक्सेप्शनल लीडर a great champion of india a man who works night and day for his country and a man i am proud to call my true friend prime minister modi the first lady and i have just traveled 8000 miles around the globe to deliver a message to every citizen across this nation america loves india America respects India and America will always be faithful and loyal friends to the Indian people. 5 months ago the United States welcomed your great prime minister at a giant football stadium in Texas and today India welcomes us at the world's largest cricket stadium right here in Ahmedabad. It is a profound honor to be the beautiful new stadium to be here with you Motera Stadium so beautiful and joined by so many distinguished guests from all across your nation and all across the world to the hundreds of thousands of everyday citizens who come out and line the streets in a stunning display of Indian culture and kindness 
and to the 125,000 people in this great stadium today. Thank you for the spectacular welcome to your magnificent country. I was the architect of India's independence that India finally got on 15th August 1947. And we're also standing by for him to plant a tree, just like his predecessor, former U.S. President Dwight Eisenhower, had done, and several other dignitaries that uh, came here from the world over did, including Queen Elizabeth II, former Australian Prime Minister Ho Chi Minh, and many others. Raj Ghat is a memorial to Mahatma Gandhi. There was the Raj Ghat Gate of the World City, opening at Raj Ghat on the Yamuna. Eventually, the memorial area was also called Raj Ghat. It was here where Gandhi's last rites were performed on the 31st of January, 1948, one day after his death. The memorial to Mahatma Gandhi is located between Ring Road and the banks of the Yamuna River towards the southeast of the Red Fort, to give you an idea of the location. This is four kilometers away from Rajpat. A black marble platform marks the spot of Mahatma Gandhi's cremation. A wreath is being brought. Gandhi's last words, Hey Ram, are inscribed on the marble, which is adorned with flowers. The memorial has been designed in such a manner that it reflects the simplicity of Mahatma Gandhi's life. Because he was a man who was extremely comfortable in the most basic of clothing. He wore a simple dhoti and that was symbolic of the rules of simplicity that he lived by. Mahatma Gandhi is an epitome of uh, simplicity. And on such an occasion, one is reminded of the principles of Mahatma Gandhi as well, of peace and ahimsa, which is non-violence, of maintaining the lowest carbon footprint possible, because Mahatma Gandhi's life was one of the lowest carbon footprint. And you are seeing US President Donald Trump and First Lady of the United States of America, Melania Trump, standing and paying respects to Mahatma Gandhi after having laid a wreath. <coughs> this stop is extremely important uh, in terms of the emotional relationship that India and the United States share, in terms of symbolism, the stop is extremely significant. Foreign dignitaries make it a point to come to Raj Ghat to pay respects to Mahatma Gandhi. US President Donald Trump had gone to Sabarmati Ashram in uh, Gandhinagar, paying tributes to the Mahatma, trying his hand at the charkha. He mentioned uh, at the Mutera Stadium speech yesterday that he will be coming to Raj Ghat laying a wreath and also be planting a tree in memory of Mahatma Gandhi. 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi is being globally commemorated. In fact, the United Nations also paid tribute uh, to Mahatma Gandhi with solar panels installed on its roof that uh, was inaugurated uh, in September last when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was there to attend the last session of the United Nations General Assembly. So Mahatma Gandhi forms a strong bond between India and the United States and between India and several countries. He is a man who is revered the world over for the principles that he lived by, for having ensured India's independence without uh, the use of violence. 
one is reminded of uh, the principles of Mahatma Gandhi on such an occasion. So the wreath has been laid by the trumps and now we expect uh, the tree planting exercise also to take place. Dwight Eisenhower had uh, planted a tree just like uh, Queen Elizabeth II, former Australian Prime Minister Gov Whitman, Ho Chi Minh and several other dignitaries have towards achieving peace have begun to capture the imagination of hmm. world audiences yeah. and world governments. Professor Vijayalakshmi will take this forward. Uh, we are now seeing how uh, US President Donald Trump is writing in the visitor's book. He did that uh, at the Sabarmati Ashram as well, where he thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the hospitality extended to him. And now, this is yet another occasion for uh, US President Donald Trump to pen his thoughts on the Rajkart of Mahatma Gandhi, on the kind of hospitality that he's been extended by India in the course of his first ever visit as US President to India. Melania Trump looking by as US President Donald Trump bends his thoughts at the visitor's book at Rajkhat. It's a moment that touches uh, millions of hearts in India and the world over because Mahatma Gandhi is revered for his sacrifices, for his endless contributions to India's freedom struggle. His global stature is unrivaled. Not just India, but the world is uh, celebrating 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Vaishnav Jan has been uh, sung by musicians the world over. And that shows how Mahatma Gandhi continues to be a strong bond between India and the rest of the global community. A Gandhi Peace Garden was also inaugurated when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in New York. That was in September last for the last uh, UNGA. And there were several world leaders who had gathered there at New York to pay tributes to Mahatma Gandhi. A stamp was also released in honor of Mahatma Gandhi in New York. So that connect between India and the United States, which is the Gandhi connect, is now growing stronger. United States has been visible in terms of commemorations to Mahatma Gandhi. Donald Trump continues to pen his thoughts in the diary of the visitor's book at Rajkhat, a memorial to Mahatma Gandhi, where the last rites of Mahatma Gandhi were performed on the 31st of January. This place also offers lessons on the life and philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi in the form of a Gandhi Memorial Museum, where films are shown on his life and philosophy. Remembrance ceremonies are held every Friday at Rajkhat, along with prayer sessions held on Gandhi's birth anniversaries as well as death anniversaries. Gandhi's last words, Hey Ram, are inscribed on the marble, which is always adorned with flowers. And now, U.S. President standing by. A symbolic gesture of planting a tree, filling in sand, the trumps, thus planting a tree in the premises of Raj Khat. He joins several dignitaries by doing that because trees labeled near the platform within the complex were planted in the past as well by various dignitaries. 
including his predecessor and former U.S. President Dwight Eisenhower. There's a Gandhi Peace Garden in New York that was inaugurated when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in New York that has the trees that symbolize the 50 different states of the United States. This is extremely important considering that Mahatma Gandhi had the lowest ever carbon footprint. His was a life full of simplicity. He adorned a simple dhoti and believed in respecting mother nature, not exploiting it at all. And that is why planting a tree is a mark of honor for Mahatma Gandhi. We are looking at Trump's uh, engrossed in a conversation with Union Minister Hardeep Puri. Perhaps uh, Donald Trump uh, would be asking him about the history of Rajkhat, the life and philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi, and the relevance of uh, Gandhi's life and philosophy. Mahatma Gandhi's role in India's freedom struggle cannot be overemphasized. He led the freedom struggle that connected the whole of India, from South India to North India, Central India, Western India, Eastern India. There were several movements that Mahatma Gandhi spearheaded. He joined the Vaikom Satyagra in Kerala that uh, had a lot of uh, impact on the social life in South India. Besides that, the time that he spent in Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar also shaped the Indian independence struggle. We've seen uh, the Trumps uh, now moving out of their U.S. strategic partnership. Your Excellency, Mr. Donald Trump, President of the United States of America, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good afternoon. Before I begin with the press event, I would like to announce the three documents which were concluded during the visit. First was an MOU on mental health between the Department of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of the Republic of India and the Department of Health and Human Services of the Government of the United States of America. Second was an MOU on the safety of medical products between the Central Drugs Standard Control Organization within the Directorate General of Health Services of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of the Republic of India and the Food and Drug Administration of the Department of Health and Human Services of the United States of America. And finally, a letter of cooperation between Indian Oil Corporation Limited and ExxonMobil India LNG Limited and Chart Industries Incorporation. I now begin the proceedings for the press event. To begin, may I request the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to deliver his statement to the press. Mitra. My friend and the President of the United States, Donald Trump, American delegation ke sammanit respected members of the American delegation, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, namaste. Good afternoon. Rashtrapati Trump aur unke delegation ka Bharat mein ek baar fir हार्दिक स्वागत है मुझे विशेष खुशी है कि इस यात्रा पर वो अपने परिवार के साथ आए हैं पिछले आठ महीनों में राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप और मेरे बीच 
ये पांचवी मुलाकात है कल मोटेरा में राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का अनप्रेसिडेंटेड और हिस्टोरिकल वेलकम हमेशा याद रखा जाएगा कल ये फिर से स्पष्ट हुआ कि अमेरिका और भारत के संबंध सिर्फ दो सरकारों के बीच नहीं है बल्कि पीपल ड्रीवन है पीपल सेंट्रिक है यह संबंध 21वीं सदी की सबसे महत्वपूर्ण पार्टनरशिप में है और इसलिए आज राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप और मैंने हमारे संबंधों को कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव ग्लोबल स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप के स्तर पर ले जाने का निर्णय लिया है संबंधों को इस मुकाम तक लाने में राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का अमूल्य योगदान रहा है फ्रेंड्स आज हमारी चर्चा में हमने इस पार्टनरशिप के हर अहम पहलू पर सकारात्मक विचार किया चाहे वो डिफेंस एंड सिक्योरिटी हो एनर्जी